Ramadan Picks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome, my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, to another episode of Ramadan Picks. Today, inshallah, we're going to talk about something very challenging. We all face that challenge of fading away. Our faith will be dropped right after Ramadan. So we're going to talk about how can we maintain the spirit of Ramadan after Ramadan, a concept called istiqama, one of the most important manners that all Muslims should uh, dedicate part of their lives to think about and to renew their intentions and to get into good company, to be surrounded with good company so that you can remind each other to remain upon the straight path until the end. Some of the scholars would say, Al-ibrah laysad biman sabah. Al-ibrah biman thabat. The challenge is not by becoming religious before others, not by putting on a niqab or a hijab or growing a beard before others. Al-ibrah biman thabat. The challenge is to remain firm upon the straight path until the end. And that's why other scholars would say, Tariqullahi tawil. The journey, the path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is too long. But the challenge is not to continue walking upon that path. Rather, the challenge is to remain firm upon that path until the end. And that's why in every salah, in every rak'ah, we recite what? Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us upon the straight path. And ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem, as it was interpreted by many scholars, it has got three meanings. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem means, show me the straight path, take me to the straight path, and keep me until the end upon the straight path. Istiqama, my brothers and sisters, the reward of it, if we knew the reward of it, we will do our best to maintain that spirit of Ramadan even after Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَا اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَلَّا تَخَافُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَبِشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوعَدُونَ نحن أولياؤكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ولكم فيها ما تشتهي أنفسكم ولكم فيها ما تدعون نزلا من غفور رحيم As of those who said our Lord is Allah Those who believe And belief is very important But what is more important than belief is what? Is to maintain that belief Is to die upon that belief So إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا Those who said our Lord is Allah Then remain steadfast until the end what will happen to them at the most critical moment of their life, at the moment of death? The angels will descend upon them, telling them, Don't be scared. And don't be sad. And receive the good news, which you were promised. Jannah, which you were promised. Allahu Akbar. I want you, my brothers and sisters, to dream Jannah, to imagine Jannah, to teach your children about Jannah. Let their brain think about Jannah, rather about you know, the scenes that they watch in cartoon movies and so on and so forth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending angels from above heavens for those people who believe and those who remain firm, remain steadfast upon that uh, belief until the end, telling them, receive the good news of Jannah, which you were promised. Not only that, but the angels will tell them, we are your supporters in this world and in the hereafter, Allahu Akbar. And when you get there, when you get to Jannah, Allah is telling us, وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ And once you get into Jannah, insha'Allah, you will have whatever you wish for and whatever you ask for. Allahu Akbar. All this will happen because of istiqamah. Because after you have declared that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, you fulfill the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you follow the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that would be the reward, Jannah. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, In Jannah, fiha ma la aynun ra'at, wa la udhunun sami'at, wa la khatar ala qalbi bashar. Once you get into Jannah, there are that which no eyes have ever seen, no ears have ever heard, and never cross human imagination. So how can we maintain steadfastness? Let's go practical, insha'Allah. Number one, my brothers and sisters, keep on asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you istiqamah. Even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself, he used to say, Allahumma inni as'aluka thabata fil amr. Oh Allah, I ask you continuity. I ask you to remain steadfast in my affairs, to remain steadfast until the end upon that path. 
even when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed one of the ayat in the Quran telling the Prophet sallallahu fastaqim kama umirt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu the best of all creation he's telling him be firm be steadfast as you have been commanded and who are we compared to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and if the Prophet sallallahu is, is receiving a command of istiqama from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how much more we should care about becoming more and more closer to the path of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu So number one, make dua to Allah. Allahumma inni as'aluka thabata fil amr. Oh Allah, I ask you continuity. I ask you to be always consistent in what I do in all affairs. And number two, which is very, very uh, essential, is good company. Surround yourself with righteous company who will remind yourself, who will text you to wake you up for Fajr if you have still some difficulties after Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant us consistency in what we do. Remember, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-mar'u ala deen khalilih. A person is always inclined to follow the religion or the way of life of his friend. So be careful. Who are your friends? My brothers and sisters in Islam, if you found this video beneficial, then please kindly share it with others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all consistency in what we do. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته